Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. In today's topic, I'd like to discuss why you keep losing brake fluid. As always, I'd like to talk about the most common problem and work my way up to the least common problem. So basically, the most common problem is going to be leaks. So basically, from my experience is that the brake caliper and the wheel cylinder are going to be the most common problem while you're losing brake fluid. So basically, what happened is the piston starts to rust and the seal starts to rust. That's going to cause brake fluid to seep past through the seal and start to leak brake fluid. So what do you want to do? You want to look on the inside of your wheel and you see brake fluid, suspect that you got a bad a brake caliper or wheel cylinder. The next common problem is going to be brake holes. So basically most brake holes are pretty much made of rubber and it's going to be flexible. And over time, these rubber starts to become worn and they start to crack. When they start to crack, it's going to allow brake fluid to pass through it and start to leak. So the next three isn't exactly a common problem. So when you have a massive cylinder, it can leak internally or externally. What I mean by externally, it can leak right at the fitting or it can leak right at the reservoir that sits right on top of the massive cylinder. The next problem could be the ABS pump. This can also leak at the fitting, which is not exactly a common problem unless there's a lot of rust built up on it. And the next problem is gonna be rusted lines. So basically these lines are the, uh, the metal lines that connects from the mass cylinder and it goes throughout the vehicle, connecting to each of the wheel. These lines can also start to rust and they can break and start to leak brake fluid. So how do you know you got a leak in your brake system without visually inspecting? Let's just say you are driving and suddenly you suspect you got some issue in your brake system. So basically one of the first common problem is going to be squishy brake pedal. So basically when you step on your brake pedal, it feels kind of squishy and spongy then you can suspect that you got a, a hydraulic leak somewhere in the brake system. So basically what happened is that when there's a leak, air starts to introduce, get introduced into the brake system, and that will cause that squishiness when you step on the brake pedal. So here's a problem you may encounter. What if there are no leaks and you have to keep topping off your brake reservoir with fluid, but you have no leaks? What do you do then? So if you can't find any external leak, most likely you're gonna have a leak right behind the uh, massive cylinder. When there's a leak that occur over there, it can start to leak into the uh, brake booster. And because the brake booster work off vacuum, the, uh, the brake fluid can get sucked, pass through the uh, brake booster into the, into the uh, brake booster hose and right into the intake. So when brake fluid gets sucked into the intake, it's, gonna, it's going to go straight into the combustion chamber and it's gonna, that brake fluid will get burned into the combustion chamber. You may notice some sort of smoke coming out of exhaust. Most likely it's gonna be the color white. There are two ways to determine whether the massive cylinder rear seal is leaking or not. Number one, you could remove the massive cylinder and visually look at it. Or number two, you can pull out the uh, vacuum hose or the brake booster hose that goes straight to the, to the brake booster and check for brake, brake fluid coming out of it. If you see brake fluid in the uh, brake booster vacuum hose, that means that master cylinder rear seal had fell. So here's a tip of the day. If you don't want to have any leaks in your brake system, number one, make sure you change your brake fluids on time. Make sure it doesn't become dirty. And number two, make sure you change your brake pads and your brake shoe on time. Because if you drive it until the brake pads become extremely low and thin, it's going to cause the brake caliper piston or the wheel cylinder piston to plunge outward more. When, when it plunges outward too much, it can cause the seal to fail. And on top of that, it can also cause the piston to literally just pop out and leak brake fluid. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.